So on your picture, that all represents this part right above where all the big, where all the big four sets are truncated, right? It's this whole next little sequence in there. We just are depositing that. Okay, so this whole next part in here, that's 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 the whiter stuff on the picture, below where we have the down lap above that, is all part of the TST. So now the question you guys had that you differed on was some people said we're going to need another transgression. Other people said no, we just need one. If we do another transgression right now, what would happen? More ammo. It would still just force deposition back up this way, right? But it, And so if we kept raising sea level, we could just sequester all the sediments back here, but that's not going to produce what we actually see. Okay, so. So let's just see what happens if we just keep letting this go. All right, it's already starting to happen. So where is the site of deposition now? It's about, on our side, uh, there's, a, there's a, dis, a difference across from one side to our, the other side. I can see it here, but if you look from the top, you can see it's farther along and that's it. So now where, where is the deposition little site going? It's moving that direction, right? So what, what's the term you would use to describe that? Okay. It's prograde. Okay, so so that surface in between the transgressive system stuff that we deposit really rapidly and the part that's prograding right now is your MFS. The surface right here between this layer of the transgressive system part that goes up here and now this is starting to prograde out on top of it, that surface right there is a maximum flooding surface. The, the MFS is the that surface that's, that's on top of those white grains and below those dark grains. Sea level rise. This this white layer right in there, that's the transgressive system crack. Floods up over you. As soon as you start prograding out over it, this is now the high stand system. But in between, uh, did I use the wrong terminology? I may have. But, but between the high stand and the transgressive is your MFS. In essence, yes. Why? Because all we had at that point was a body of water that things were prograding into. Yeah, I'm Right, so then things that are, then this layer is being deposited quickly, that was their transgressive system thing. And then we didn't change the sea level, but now the sediment starts building back out over the top. And that's your high stand system. So you have a high stand so transgressive yeah. with a maximum flooding surface, and now it's a transgressive or a high stand level. Yeah. 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 Then we drop sea level, we loaded yeah. this to the sequence yeah. boundaries. Yeah. Then this stuff rapidly got deposited up here, yeah. and now we're already permeating out over the top of it. Cool. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, you see how it's going to work. Yeah, we're in Appalachia over here. We're just going to go all the stuff in. So we've got all the stuff in the back here. Yeah. MFS is just a surface moving up here. It's not just a by surface. It's like an uniformity in the system. It's just a surface that separates two different bodies of rock. So nothing. this got me. So this is a high stand system for right this. So that's this part right here. Yep. So that's your HST. So you actually don't need a. You don't need a regression to get an HST. No, you, in, fact, in fact, your first deposition here is a high stand crack. Okay. Okay. And that was just a high stand crack because that's what it was just covering. Yep. Yep. Ah, so Nick just asked, to get this thing that we're depositing right now, could we increase the sediment flow? If we increase sediment flow, what would happen to that? It might get thicker, but it would also keep prograding. The site of deposition is still going to remain out of the shoreline. So it's going to prograde. It would certainly keep prograding, and it might prograde at a faster rate. And as you build this up out here, now you can develop a little bit more on the fluvial side. So if you could increase that through aggradation and prograding. It's 
so cool. I don't know. I don't want to go work in St. Anthony Falls doing sedimentation mechanics, but this is still really cool. It gets pretty fortunate in the set track class now and then. See something like this. So do you see the different parts we're reading? Here's our initial delta that we built out. We raised sea level. So we ended up with a, a, a transgressive system pass. It's very faint here. And then we can get it out of it. So this line represents the maximum flooding surface. And there's a thin little TST right in there. And then this is a HST. And we built all of this out. We dropped sea level. So we eroded all along that surface right there. And then when we raised sea level back up, None of this looks. So, so then we started depositing this piece right into the wildlife crater, and that's our next transgressive system track. And it's defined. Its top is defined by this face of black right here because that's what we started incorporating back out onto it again. So now all of this above that line right there is another HST. We have three HSTs. We have three HSTs. Um, just because the, what else is wrong? You can't call it an LSD. We're done. So we're done. Um, I guess it's an HST because uh, because we started well because we started with sea level here. So and then. Uh, and so all of this is just the Well, yes, there is a difference in the sense that, like, with all of this is an HST, right? And that's not the whole So do we produce the sequence? Do we need another transgression? Okay. Let's do something wild and crazy now. Let's do another transgression. <laughs> How would we do a transgression? Right now? Yeah. Raise sea level, yeah. It's easy. Put all the way to the top, bro. All the way to the top. I want to know your job. Yeah, I believe it. Beneath, <laughs> beneath <laughs> this line that you drew, and in all of that's TST. Oh, it's water. Oh, okay. Like we, we wrote it down to produce this, right? As soon as we raise signal, then all of this got put on the back of the way. And now he's not operating on it. So the line Remember, it's just like now, it's just programming out. Sure. So, so we had this sequence that then we. Jeremy, you're going to send me that whole video, C right? And we are what we I saw. A, that's a sequence that goes up right there. And it's right. defined so that we're all the black. Yeah. Tracks, yeah. And, then okay. and then notice that there's a white layer. Carl, are you going to send this video to everybody? That's your TST. Yeah, I can. Because as soon as this, we've been eroding, eroding, to turn I'll make it available. As soon as we start <laughs> raising sea level, our yeah. sedimentation. Yeah. Got to get a drop on this direction and deprive of that clear layer going back up here to some obscure point. And then it starts prograding out over it again. And we don't get great forces to work clear out here. But all of this is a prograding sequence that's defined by where you see the black reappear. So just that little interval right there is the PST. And this, this one, where the black line here is, that's defined with black lens, that's your MFS. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we've only we've only changed one parameter this whole time. <laughs> yes, all within one. So so when we raise after we had this erosion. We all, all we've done is we've raised sea level once, and we've produced a, a, an expressive tract, a, multi, a maximum flooding surface, and a high span.